Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a mail merge. In order for you to create a mail merge, first you need to know exactly what a mail merge is. You use a mail merge when you want to create a set of documents that are essentially the same, but where each document contains unique elements. For example, in a letter that announces a new product, your company logo and the text about the product will appear in each letter. And the address and the greeting line will be different in each letter. Using a mail merge, you can create a set of labels or envelopes. The return address is the same on all the labels or envelopes, but the destination address is unique on each one. A set of form letters, email messages, or faxes. The basic content is the same in all of the letters, messages, or faxes, but each contains information that is specific to the individual recipient, such as a name an address, or some other piece of personal data. So exactly how does a mail merge work? Well, today I will demonstrate exactly how that happens. The first thing that you want to do is open up your Emerson database work, which you finished in class. And I want you to delete line one and two, so you're left with just what you see here. It's, line one should have owner, business name, street address, etc. So you're deleting the title, Emerson Businesses, and the blank line. Then you're going to save your work and you're going to close this document. The next thing you're going to do is go to your Emerson School email account where I sent a dummy letter to each of you. If you did not receive this letter, raise your hand now and I will resend this sample letter to each of you because this is the letter that you are going to be mail merging with your addresses which you put in your Emerson database. When you open your letter, save it to your Z drive and then type in your name and address here. Don't put your actual home address, put our school address which is 131 Main Street Emerson, New Jersey 07630. Then you can update the date and then I'm going to show you how to add a field which will enter all of the information that you put into your Emerson database. In order to add a mail field you want to go to mailings. Once you're on mailings you're going to see a menu bar that looks like this and you want to select start mail merge and I usually just use the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard which allows you to just kind of go across the toolbar. So one of the first things we want to do is select our Excel document which has our recipients for the letter in our Emerson database Excel document. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to use an existing list and then I have to find it. Now, I asked you to save it to your Z drive. So you're going to go to, my, to your um, Z drive on your computer. And I mine is on my Z drive, but I have to go into my Excel document folder. So just let me find that first. And actually, I can go into Mail Merge. Here we go. So I have Emerson Database finished. I'm going to select that document and hit Open. And it's saying, well, which sheet? in that document because remember it's a whole workbook but there were three different tabs with worksheets on it. I want sheet one because that's where our information is. So I'm going to select OK. Now I can um, go across the board and edit my recipient list if I needed to, if I needed to not send it to everyone. Um, I will be having you send it to three people on your list. So what you can do is just select three different people from your list. So I will select um, my first three in this situation and I will hit OK. So I unchecked all of the other recipients because you will have to print three letters for me. And then where it says the business address here, I'm going to delete that. Enter, enter, up, back, back up to, and I'm going to insert my merge fields. My first merge field is business name. I'm going to hit return. My second merge field is street address hit return or enter and then my last one is city comma space state space and zip code 
now I want to single space that, my address. So I'm going to go back to home, back to paragraph, select single space, and I'm going to get rid of any line spacing options by clicking on this arrow and making that 12 in this particular situation a zero and hit OK. okay. Now for my greeting line, I know I want it to start with dear. Dear, I have to add another field in. So I'm going to go back to mailings, insert merge field, insert owner, and then put a comma. So your address is up here. Our merge fields are here. The only thing you need to do is sign your name. And then you go back to mailing and you're ready to check your fields to make sure they're working. There's, there could be minor issues which might be an easy fix, but you always want to check it. So I'm going to bring this to my first recipient. If you could see here, I can go back and forth, one, two, three, etc. I only should have three recipients because I unchecked the others. And over here it says preview results. If I click on preview results, I now have Picnic Fun Fabulous Food in my address line, Dear Christine E. Nunn. If I go to my second one, it's No Excuses Personal Training, Dear Eileen Atkinson. If I go to my third one, it's Gregory Tees, Dear Gregory, etc. Thank you for supporting our technology class in the Emerson School District. Your donation of a healthy green salad was truly appreciated. Your contribution made our class luncheon a tremendous success. So you could see how this can save so much time if you have to do a mass mailing. The other thing that you need to be aware of is in addition to letters, you can um, set up envelopes this way and labels this way. It truly makes your life so much easier. It is so much more efficient than having to hand type or hand write all of the labels and letters out. So now I want you to actually go back to your computers. I want you to open this letter in your email and I want you to set up a mail merge. If you are having any problems, raise your hand and I will be walking around to help you. Thank you.